Hey YouTubers, this is Bob. I thought you'd like a little tour of my altar area. Um, I'm redoing my room to make it a temple, so it's not done, but uh, I have just a temporary small altar set up until I finish building my larger one. But I thought you'd like a little tour. First, above my altar, you can see the moon. I keep this up here to remind me of the wonderful full moon. It's the moon rising over the ocean. And I really love it. And if you follow it down, you'll come down to one of my altars here. This is just a small one, altar. I'm building a larger one. But as you can see, um, we've got here, and to the left, this is my chalice with holy water in it. And uh, we use this to bless the altar and, uh, you know, whenever we're doing a ritual. To the left here, you can see my athame. Um, this is a ritual knife. It's not used to ever cut anything. It's used for directing energy. But I keep that here on the altar. Moving forward, we've got the pinnacle here. And uh, I have a candle here. And in front of the pinnacle stands a beautiful statue I have of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And Our Lady of Guadalupe uh, is an ancient symbol uh, of the goddess. And many people in the New World use this image. Let's see if I can zoom in here on it. You can kind of see her features. All about her are the flames of power. So it represents how powerful and mystical she is. And in the back here I have various um, spell candles for rituals that I'm working on. I don't want to talk about those, but just know that they're there. Um, over here I have uh, my wand, which is hand-carved out of a, a piece of wood. You can see it. It's a spirally wand. And um, here's my incense holder. Actually, I should light some incense. This is a little statue of Juan Diego. And uh, those of you who know the story of Guadalupe, uh, Juan Diego was the Indian who first saw uh, the apparition of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So I really like him, too. But anyways, this is just a little little tour, and uh, I hope you guys like it. A lot of you have been writing to me recently saying, Bob, I need some help with money. Things are tight. Can you teach me a prosperity spell? Of course I can. Well, let me show you um, something here that I think will be One of the things that um, is traditionally a color for prosperity is the color of orange. And now that we're at the Halloween time, you can get orange candles rather easily. So I encourage you to get an orange candle and uh, coat it with an oil. If you have attraction oil or prosperity oil, that's great. But if you can't get the fancy oils, just use a good olive or vegetable oil. This candle I've already coated as you the can see. The next thing that you want to do is get out some herbs. And a some lot of herbs. you have been writing and saying, Bob, I can't afford to grow herbs. I don't have the space. I don't have the time. Can I use store-bought herbs? Yes, you can. In fact, today, as you see here, we're going to use uh, two herbs that are very common. This one is cinnamon. Now, if you can buy the ground cinnamon, that's great. And we're going to use mint leaves. Okay. And we also are going to use silver glitter. You can pick that up at your local craft store. And what you want to do is just take the cinnamon and put it in a little holder like this. Get a little shallow dish and sprinkle some in. It doesn't take a lot. Then you want to open your mint leaves and add some of that to it as well. So just sprinkle a little bit of mint in there. Then finally, add a little bit of glitter. It doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. Now what you want to do is take your candle that's coated with oil and put it in the dish and roll it across so that it gets coated on all sides. And while you're rolling it, I want you to meditate on your goal. Visualize what it is that you're trying to draw to yourself. Because remember, orange is the drawing color, the symbol of prosperity. Get some sprinkled on the top. And now you should have a coated candle. After your candle is coated, you want to just purify it through the smoke of the incense. So light some incense. 
and pass it through the smoke, meditating on what you want to accomplish. Put it on the pinnacle, bless it with a little bit of water from the chalice. Your candle is now ready for your altar. At this point, meditating on your goal, I want you to visualize it. And as you feel that you've got it in clear mind, light your candle and invoke the divine blessings of the goddess. Meditate on the flame and see your desire coming to manifestation and let the candle burn. The most important thing is to keep your focus. Focus on what you're trying to do and visualize and know in your heart that your wish will be manifest. And then keep your candle burning. Each day you can renew this as you need to. Now don't leave your candles undetended so if you have to go out you can put them out and restart them. Anyways, I hope this has given you guys some insight. Thanks for being here.